Communication with your borrowers and partners can be managed and automated in the marketing tab of your BN Touch CRM. Here, a campaign represents marketing communication that is sent to groups of people, not necessarily an individual email or text message sent to a specific person. This communication could be to borrowers, partners, other Be In Touch users, or yourself. Campaigns can be sent via several media, including email, SMS text message, calling, mobile app push notifications, tasks, and more depending on which Be In Touch modules you have activated. These campaigns can be automated to send applicable groups based on predetermined triggers. To access your list of available campaigns, simply click the marketing tab from anywhere in Be In Touch. Depending on your account, some campaigns may already be listed here for you by your administrator. If you have the permission to do so, new campaigns can be created using the Add Campaign button. The color and title to the left of the list will show what group the campaign is part of. These groups are organizational for your business, not groups of targets for the campaign. The groups listed here can be changed by clicking the Edit Groups button above the list. You can view specific groups of campaigns at a time by clicking the colored tabs above the list. Actions can be taken on the campaigns in the list using the checkboxes to the left of each campaign and the drop-down above the list. Copy Campaign can duplicate a campaign, saving time when making similar marketing. Assign Rights can transfer ownership of a campaign to a different user in your company. Campaigns can be marked as hidden or visible using the appropriate buttons, and the switch at the upper right of the subtab can be used to filter campaigns by this status. Each campaign will be listed with a name and a brief description. Clicking the campaign name or the edit option from the actions to the right will open the campaign for editing. The steps for each campaign represent how many actions take place during that campaign. A campaign's length shows how many days the campaign runs for. The Triggers column shows if the campaign has any automated logic for adding the campaign to your records. The Owner and Created columns will show who created the campaign and when. Only the owner of a campaign can update settings or step content for that campaign. The Quick Setup option will open the setup wizard for that campaign which will ask a series of questions to customize automation in your CRM. The Delete option to the right of a campaign can be clicked to delete it. When you open a campaign, options for modifying that campaign will appear as subtabs at the top of the page. The first, Steps, will display the individual parts that campaign is made of. These steps are separated into two categories. Steps based on interval will activate based upon a period of time after a specified trigger takes place. This type of step can be used to send out an automated email 1, 3, and 5 days after a lead is generated, or to send a reminder to yourself in system to call a lead after a certain period. The interval column will show a number representing how many days after the triggering event this step will activate. A value of 1 in this column means that the step will trigger as soon as the record is added to the campaign. Steps based on exact date will activate on the specified date, regardless of the duration of the campaign. This type of step can be used to send campaigns for holidays, birthdays, or other events that take place at the same time each year. Steps can be added to the campaign using the Add New Step button at the top of the list. To duplicate a step, check the box to the left of a step and click the Copy Step button. You can also copy steps from one campaign into another existing campaign. If a T appears for a step, that step isn't set to use your default template information. Instead, each of these steps will need to have template information applied individually. If an A appears for a step, that step is automated. The third letter icon column will show who the step is being sent to. A C means the step will be sent to the client or borrower. A P means the step will be sent to a partner associated with a borrower's file. 
An M, for me, means a step will be sent to the owner of the record added to the campaign. Clicking the step name will show a preview of the step. The method column will show the media used to send that step, including email, SMS text, phone call, mailed postcard, in-system message, and other forms. The cost column will only matter for specific module-based delivery methods like automatically mailed postcards. The Actions menu contains options to edit, test, or remove a step. The Triggers subtab will show any automated elements of the campaign. These advanced elements are covered in more detail in the Automation Triggers in Marketing Campaigns training video. The Report subtab will display a summary of the selected campaign, including counts of records for which the campaign is active, paused, unsubscribed, or finished. Clicking the three dots to the right and selecting Records on Campaign will display a list of all borrowers, partners, and Be In Touch users for this campaign. Clicking the Summary option will generate a report for the campaign, which can be filtered by status using the drop-down menu in the upper right. To access a list of pre-made campaigns that you can add to your own business, click the Content Exchange subtab. This list is separated into two sections. Campaigns by Be In Touch are pre-built campaigns that Be In Touch has made to help your business thrive. Campaigns by subscribers are campaigns that other Be In Touch users have created and made available for everyone to use. Be In Touch is not responsible for the content of these campaigns, and we recommend that you review all steps of campaigns that have been shared by other users. Social media services that your company uses can be linked to your Be In Touch CRM in the Social Marketing subtab, including Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. In the Content Discovery section, RSS feeds can be accessed and shared to your social media accounts. New social media posts can be created below. Linked platforms can be selected for each post. The subject of the post is only visible in Be In Touch and will not be posted. Both a text field and an image can be included. Entries here can be set to post immediately or after a scheduled delay. The Video Marketing subtab contains pre-generated videos you can use in your marketing communication with your clients. These videos are organized into categories including birthdays, in-processing, and loan anniversary. When you hover over a video, you can click the play button to view it or the send button to send it to one of your clients. When sent, the video will appear on a unique page with your contact information and the video will feature customization for the record you sent it to. To change the splash page the video appears on, use the Settings subtab to select the design. Detailed reports for each of your marketing campaigns can be generated in the Campaign Reports subtab. Clicking on the campaign name will open the Edit Campaign screen. Clicking the three dots on the right, you can select the same records and summary options we saw while editing a campaign earlier. Clicking the Campaign Actions drop-down menu below reveals options to stop or restart campaigns. Using the checkboxes on the left, you can also rerun or assign individual steps from the same menu. This should give you a basic understanding of the tools available in the Marketing tab and how to use them. Many additional features are available, including advanced campaign triggers, the use of meta tags to personalize your marketing, and multiple optional modules. To learn more about marketing and be in touch, please watch our training videos or read our online manual. These can be accessed in the user menu in the upper right of your be in touch CRM.